How to make up a two gang single pole switch box. Start by identifying your switch legs. Make sure you know what's what. Light always goes closest to the door. Fan always goes furthest away from the door. Take your closest switch leg and put it in the closest hole to the top of the two gang. Strip it quarter to half an inch below the top of the box. Pull the sheathing off. This is your fan. Put it in the box. Fan is your second switch. Two loops. That identifies that it goes over here in the second slot. This is your vanity. Quarter to half an inch below the top of the box. <clears throat> Identify it with one loop. It identifies it goes in the first slot. This is a feed. Get your wires out of the way. This is also a feed. Okay, you always start by connecting your grounds. You've got two switches, so you need two grounds. Wrap your grounds together. Cut it. Take your two other ground wires. Wrap them around. Fold this back. Take your green wire nut. Put it over the ground, tighten it down. Now you have two grounds for two switches. Push it into the back of the box, ground out each side. Then you move on to your neutrals, the white wires. Take them all, push them into the back left hand corner of the box. You want to be able to fold it the length of the box. Pull them out, cut them, strip them back, usually about a quarter to a half an inch. Take your red wire nut, connect them together. Very important to make sure that they're all even. So when your wire nut goes on, you don't have any wire sticking out. Take your wire nut, fold it to the box, in the box, all the way to the back, nice and tight. Then you move on to your feeds, your black wires, the ones that aren't signified by switch legs. Back left hand corner of the box, just like your neutrals, cut them off, you got two switches, you need two feeds. You get two single wires. That's what's going to give you your feed for each switch. Same thing. Make sure that they're nice and even. Nice and even. Red wire nut. Get them nice and tight. When you tighten down the wire nuts, you want to tighten them until it starts curling the wire. That's how you know it's nice and tight. To the box in the box.
Notice that brings your feeds out in the center. Now you want to take your switch legs, the one that you have identified as the first switch, nice and tight to the back, wrap it around. Same thing, second switch, nice and tight, wrap it around. Push it into the back corner. Two loops, second switch. One loop, first switch. Loosely wrap your ground wire around your switch leg and your feed. Cut it off six inches outside the box. Curl it to the box, curl it in the box. Same thing, back corner. Wrap your ground around loosely. Cut your wire six to eight inches outside the box. Wrap it to the box, in the box. Make sure that they're nice and tight to the back. Plenty of clearance for sheet rockers. That's how you make up a two gang single pole switch box.